Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome back. So, the Bitcoin price has gone down a lot. It's like 11,000 something. Uh, you know, this, this kind of stuff can happen. It happens, whatever. Uh, if you look at the charts from previous years around this time, Bitcoin has come down around this time. And then February, it just starts to go up. So hopefully that's the same case. So don't get scared and sell off. Hold your coins or buy more now that it's cheap. Uh, but today I want to talk about whether or not the Antminer S9 is still profitable. Now, I got mine back in November. I started mining exactly on November 27th. And during that time, the calculator said I will be earning about 0.96 Bitcoin. If I go to the calculators today, in one year, it says I'm going to earn 0.56 Bitcoin. So with the difficulty increasing every two weeks or every 2016 blocks, People are getting paid out less and less because there's so many people mining. So this is causing the network difficulty to increase. Now in 365 days, there's going to be a total of 26 network difficulty adjustments. Now it can continue to go up or it can go down depending on how many people are mining Bitcoin. With Bitmain releasing these ant miners like every day, you know, more people are going to be getting these ant miners <clears throat> rated at 14 terahashes and are going to start mining. I think we're going to see a big increase in the hash rate in February and March because a, a ton of batches were sold and they're going to be released out to customers in February, March. So in February, March, there's going to be probably a really big network adjustment, which is going to basically decrease our earnings mining with the amp miner s9 so this is what i want to get at whether or not getting the amp miner right now is still profitable and the results suck so right now if you want to get an amp miner from bitmain it costs two thousand three hundred twenty dollars and you're going to expect to get it between march 11th and march 20th now we, you know bitcoin uh bitmain takes bitcoin cash or now they also accept uh wire transfers uh, right here, uh, but let's just look at the what happens if you pay with uh, Bitcoin Cash. So, if we go to the calculators and convert twenty three twenty to Bitcoin, that's point two Bitcoin, right? Now, if we take that point two Bitcoin and put it here, that's about one point two three Bitcoin Cash. Now, the reason why I did the Bitcoin value first is because I think most people do already have Bitcoin, and then what they're doing is converting it over to Bitcoin Cash. So let's just say you had Bitcoin uh, and you had 0 0.2 Bitcoin and you wanna convert it to Bitcoin Cash, you end up with 1.23 Bitcoin Cash. So that's how much it would cost right now if you were to buy an Antminer S9. 0.2 Bitcoin or 1.23 Bitcoin Cash. So now if we go to the calculators and I put this hash rate, which is 13.8 terahashes, I don't even care about the power at this point, so I'm not gonna put it, I'm not even gonna put the pool fees. Um, and the block value, if you mine on a slush pool, it's gonna be higher than this, but let's just see what the worst case scenario is and hardware cost doesn't matter, okay? so. Let's calculate it and let's just see in one year how much we're gonna earn. 0.56 Bitcoin or $7,426. Now, you're looking at this and you're like, okay, I paid $2,300, $2, but uh, I'm making $7,426 at the end of the year. But remember, you pay 0.2 Bitcoin at the end of the year you're gonna get 0.56 Bitcoin. And if you remember what I said in the beginning of this video, the network difficulty is increasing. When I started in November, it said I was gonna earn 9, 0.96 Bitcoin. Now, two months later, I'm gonna earn 0.56 Bitcoin. And like I said, that is not including power costs or pool fees. So that is the best as possible. Like if you had free electricity and you had your own pool and you had no fees at all, like you're earning 0.56 at this given moment if you start mining with the Antminer S9. So in 365 days, we're gonna have 26 network adjustments. In February, March, Bitmain is gonna be shipping out these Antminers. It's gonna increase the difficulty at the end of the year I don't know what the math is. It's gonna be less than what you paid in Bitcoin. 0.2, you're gonna earn probably 0.1 or maybe less. And this sucks. 
This really, really, really sucks. And honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna make my money back from my ant miner. I paid $4,000 US dollar. I didn't use Bitcoin, but either way, if I did buy Bitcoin with that $4,000 back when I bought the ant miner, I would have to, I would get 0.63 Bitcoin back. And it's been, um, it's been a total for me mining a total of 50 days. And in that 50 days, I've earned 0.11 seven Bitcoin. I got a long way to go until I hit 0.63 to break even. Like I said, the Bitcoin price can continue to go up. And if you look at it that way, yes, I guess you do make your money back in US dollar, but in Bitcoin, it would have been smarter to just hold. So now this is another scenario here. So I'm putting in the same numbers. This is for Bitcoin cash mining. Uh, same hash rate. Uh, I don't really care about the power right now. It doesn't matter. It's just to you know, a high level kind of idea of what you would earn. So let's just calculate. So remember, I said you would have to put in 1. Uh, 1.23 Bitcoin to buy the ant miner right now. At the end of the year, you would get back 4.19 Bitcoin. Even though it's, you know, it's still pretty high, but you're getting back more Bitcoin cash than what you actually put in. But now at the end of the whole year, you know, right now it says 4.19 Bitcoin cash, but at the end of the year, it might be two Bitcoin cash or 1.5 Bitcoin cash. I have no idea what it's gonna be, but that's gonna come down slower than what, than how Bitcoin is coming down. Like your earnings are gonna go down so much with Bitcoin. So I'm trying to figure out what the total hash rate should be on a miner if you wanna make back more Bitcoin than what you actually put into purchasing a miner. And if I plug in 30 terahashes at the current 0.2 Bitcoin price, at the end of the year, you're making 1.23 Bitcoin. That sounds great, but at the end of the year, it's gonna probably be 0.5 Bitcoin or even 0.2 Bitcoin. So hardware miners right now, I think need to be a lot more than just 30 terahashes. Don't get me wrong, you are making more money US dollar at the end of the year if the Bitcoin price continues. But if you look at it as I put 0.2 Bitcoin in, but at the end of the year I make back 0.2, maybe 0.3 or 0.5, it kind of sucks. <laughs> With 100 terahashes, I feel like this is the best scenario. With 100 terahashes, with the cost of the miner being 0.2 Bitcoin at the end of the year, you get 4.11 Bitcoin. I feel like this is the safest bet right here, but there's no way that they're gonna sell the 100 terahash ant miner or any other company for only 0.2 Bitcoin. But if you look at it as the Bitcoin value, this is a safer bet because at the end of the year, you might get actually one whole Bitcoin with your 0.2 investment. And I'm not trying to steer people away from mining Bitcoin. Like I'm still doing it. Uh, you could probably hear the ant miner back there. I'm gonna try to let that thing run as long as possible. Um, but yeah, so I just, I just want more people to do a little bit extra research into what you're actually getting yourself into because I didn't under, I didn't, and when I first started, I didn't realize that I was gonna be earning so much more or less from when I started from 0.96 to now being 0.56 and then in a month or two, 0.2 or something insane for the whole year. So um, yeah. And now with that being said, um, you know, I'm still running the miner, but I am building a GPU rig and I feel like it's more future proof than getting a miner, like an ASIC miner for Bitcoin. So I hope I'm right. <laughs> if not, we'll see. That's the whole purpose of these videos, documenting the journey to see what works and what doesn't work. And you know, in a year from now, I'll be like, wow, that was a big waste of time and a lot and a waste of money. But you know, I'm still doing it. So uh, GPU rig, I got cars coming in today. Um, I'm not gonna be able to build it until probably next week. Uh, but I mentioned it in my last video, I got six 1070 Ti's coming. Two 1080 Ti's and then um, I already have two 1070's so I'm gonna be trying out nice hash and I think I'm gonna get some really good returns on there I don't know how the network of difficulty um, adjusts with those smaller coins but I feel like right now it's still so profitable that 
I should definitely make the investment back within three to four months or so. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, this is a big journey for everybody. Uh, hopefully this was helpful and you know, if you have any questions, let's leave them down below. Uh, make sure you join the group. A lot of people are helpful in there. Uh, but I think that's it. I'll check you guys out in my next video. Bye.